Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix it is not found any file specified for ISARCE extract Windows 11. Before we start, hurry up and check out these other just on this video. So let's get started. So if you're having problems with running your games here and a very specific file is actually missing, well, there is something you could try doing here that, to fix this issue. So the first thing that you may want to try here is you may want to reinstall the game. Sometimes uh, the game may be uh, installed incorrectly and some files may be missing here. So what you need to do is you want to go and just go to your search, just uh, type in uninstall and you should see add or remove programs here and just look for the uh, game that you want to uninstall. So for example, this one, go and click on the G dot option and click on install. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and run uh, the installer again and see if that actually helps. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, there is one thing that you could try doing here. Now, what we're looking for is specifically is a DLL file. So you could just go to uh, Google here, type in DLL files, look for dllfiles.com, open it up. Now, what we need to do is we want to search for a DL file that we are missing. So let's go and just paste uh, the file that we're looking. Let's, let's, get, let's go and click on search DLL file. Now, it should give you a, a result for it. So if you do see it in here, you could just go ahead and just download that. Just, let's just wait for it to load up. Also, by the way, if you don't see the res, uh, result uh, for that specific DL file, you could also use the following website here. So sometimes the file itself might, might not be available. So you could use dlme.com as well. So you could open it up. And you can just search for it in their platforms. So we're going to just enter the name again. Click on search repository. But you should see it in here as you can see right now. Let's go and click on it. And let's go and click on downloads. Now from here, let's go ahead and select the version. So you have 32 bit. Let's go and click on select. And from here, let's go and click on start download. Now, once it's actually downloaded, we want to go and extract this one. So let's go and click on the folder icon here to open it up. Let's go and close this one. You can go and double click on it and you can go ahead and copy those two files here. Drag it into your desktop as you can see here now. Uh, two files here. And what you need to do next is you want to go ahead and go to your PC here. You want to go to the C drive. You want to go ahead and uh, look for a very specific folder here. So you want to go to Windows and you want to go ahead and look for System32. So you want to scroll down over here, System32. And what you need to do is you just need to paste those two files that we have. So copy these two files here, add it in this folder. And again, it, it, only do this if you need it. But if you've added those two files in here, you can go ahead and see if that solves the issue. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.